Tesla has just revealed around about how long its battery packs will last. Is it only 10 years like the media have been telling you? No, it's absolutely not. In fact, it's much, much longer than anyone would have thought. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Electric Viking. My name's Sam Evans. It's great to see you. I've been touting the benefits and the improvements to Tesla's battery pack technology now for a long time. It's really important to keep in mind that there's been a few owners of Tesla Model 3 vehicles that have done more than 300,000 miles of driving and seen very little battery degradation. But I mean, it could be different, right? If you charge your car more using fast charges, you're gonna get more battery degradation. If you charge it less using fast charges, you're gonna get less battery degradation. Now, context is important too, because if you have an EV, say a Mazda MX-30 that only has, what, 150 miles of range, then your battery is going to degrade faster because you're going to need more battery, right? To get the same amount of actual driving versus someone with a bigger battery pack, you're going to need to do more driving. However, the interesting thing is here, Tesla's batteries get more degradation the bigger they are. Obviously, some context is necessary. All of Tesla's bigger battery packs use Tesla's nickel manganese cobalt technology, which is more expensive but generally will give you less cycles, life cycles, than their cheaper lithium iron phosphate batteries in the cheaper models. Now, you cannot get a Model Y with lithium iron phosphate batteries in the United States. You can get them now in Canada. You can get a Model 3 with the lithium iron phosphate batteries. That's the standard range model. But the Model Y with lithium iron phosphate batteries is sold across Europe china australia new zealand japan all those other countries the only country that it doesn't come in is the united states one of the reasons for that is that that those battery cells are made by catl and byd the batteries of cells are made in china and then tesla puts them into packs in whatever country it is germany or the us however tesla has given an update on battery degradation on average across all of their cars the degradation you'll see at 200,000 miles of driving. So once you've driven 320,000 kilometers in your electric car, on average, you'll see 12% battery degradation, meaning your phone will have 88% capacity left in it. Now my iPhone, for example, after having it for about two years, it has about 85% capacity left. 200,000 miles, you'd have to, that's a lot of driving, right? That's, that's 320,000 kilometers is massive. I would say the average person wouldn't do that many miles in 10 years. In fact, if you look at the average distances driven in the US, in Canada, in Australia, in the UK, it's a lot less than that over the course of 10 years. But this means that after 10 years of driving, or more than that, 12, 14 years of driving, you're only gonna see on average 12% battery degradation. So this puts paid, it puts an end to this media narrative saying that a battery will only last eight to 10 years, then you'll have to replace it, utter nonsense. Tesla has revealed these numbers in its recent Q1 2023 report. Now, to be fair, battery degradation is probably the most significant concern or sort of trumped up concern of people looking to buy an EV. They get told this stuff, oh, your, your battery is not gonna last, you need a new battery pack. This proves that that's wrong. And one of the reasons for that is that Tesla's vehicles come with a heat pump and they come with thermal management. Both of those things combine to help the battery packs last longer. But keep in mind though, when you do finally use up your battery pack, that could take you 500,000 miles. No one really knows. Depends on the car. Depends on how often you fast charge it. But when you do, well, it can then be recycled. Recycling companies now will pay you to buy your battery pack from you because those minerals inside your battery are so valuable. Now, unfortunately, these numbers are only for Tesla Model S and Model X batteries. I think this battery degradation would be even lower if Tesla included Model Y and Model 3 battery packs. Now, one thing to keep in mind that's really important to how long your battery will last is pack size. If your battery pack is really small, then you're gonna to need to do more range more charges on that battery pack versus someone who has a battery that's say twice as big. So you might have to do 50% more charges, meaning your battery will last 50% less on average versus a bigger battery pack. Now, of course, this average is across all of Tesla's Model S and X vehicles. And there's a couple of different pack sizes. 
But we have seen reports from some buyers who have Model 3 vehicles, Tesla Model 3, cheaper cars, that will last even longer, battery degradation of only around 20% after having done th about 320,000 miles, so around 500,000 kilometers. They're only seeing around 20% battery degradation. So battery packs, from what I'm seeing, the numbers I'm seeing, will last much longer than what people recently thought. Early data from Model 3 and Model Y vehicles shows battery pack capacity degradation going down fairly minimally, around 15% at the 200,000 mile mark. But most of those vehicles use Tesla's NMC batteries, nickel manganese cobalt batteries, which like I said, they won't last quite as long on average as an LFP battery. Now, if you've got a Tesla car and you've had a look at your battery degradation, let us know in the comments. That'd be really interesting to know. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.